Now let's make a shape. I'm going to be making a bow. I've got um, a clip art that I just downloaded from the internet. So I'm going to open a clip art. Now when you open, you'll only get your folders that you've got on your desktop showing up or wherever you're looking. So we just go down to all files. And it's the bow that I want to open. So we'll bring that one in. And that I'll put that on my desktop and let's just drag that in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on there. And we're going to go to the trace window because we want an image there. So we go to the trace window, select trace area. So I'm just going to drag a box around my bow. And we'll see what that comes out like. We can use the sliders, but first of all we'll see the default setting or whatever it was on there and see what that comes out like. So we say trace outer edge. That doesn't look like it's done anything because the bow's actually red, but if we zoom back out again I'll be able to move it. Just select it there. Let's move the bow out of the way. And that's it doesn't matter about this bit in the center there because if you were covering it with rhinestones anyway we wouldn't see the difference in the center so we'll just select that and we'll delete it so we didn't have to cha change any of the settings i just dragged that along slightly didn't i but we didn't have to basically change any of the settings in here if you ended up with a double line just go back in again and just try and change your threshold or your high pass filter and just get your single line but that's what we want so we've got our line here and what we're going to do is we're going to select that and we're going to go up to the offset window and we're going to internally offset. Now don't forget we want around about six millimeters if we're using a four millimeter rhinestone. So we'll just say apply again, go up to internal offset, six millimeters again, apply and I think that should be okay. Let's just take this little bit out the bottom there. We might want to put a few on the inside when we're um, filling it in, but let's just delete that for the moment. And let's go back to our text tool, Courier. Now don't forget we want 24 point for four millimeters. Let's come back to the larger one again. Stay where you are and type out our zero, uh, not zeros, noughts I should say. Double click it and then when we get on there just carry on typing out the noughts as you can see they'll go all around the outside but we're going to get them coming back on our cells here because they're following that path and it's a bit close together but we can sort that out in a moment so just carry on clicking around until you think you've got enough and then let's zoom in just slightly just drag our slider so that they move down to just inside the outline so we can you can see where we've gotten here they've moved over anyway so we're okay so let's do the next row drag that down and fit it to the inside one again add some more get in there and then the two bits on the center If when you're dragging in you find that it wants to snap to one of the others and you find it a little bit hard to get, you can actually pick these bits out and then put them in afterwards. So let's just take that one out for the moment. I think we're going to have to move some of these around manually because this is not really lending itself properly to be done automatically. But don't worry, we can, we can sort that out in a minute. So lastly, we do the other one. Have it there on, it on the inside. Sometimes they just want to go all over the place, but there we are. Put a few more in there. Okay, bring that back in. 
Now we can see that we've got a bit of work rearranging these on there, but we can see we're getting the rough shape. Let's just select them all and we're going to ungroup them. It'll take a while because there's quite a lot in there to select. There we go. And then let's just go back in again. Got the wrong one. Let's move that one out of the way a moment. And just that's it. Move that one down. And rearrange some of these. You could put them in manually if you want to, but at least if you're doing it automatically like that, they are going to be formed in some sort of order. We'll take the pieces out because we don't need those anymore. Let's just delete them. Use those extra ones that it made just to fill up these holes just by moving them over. What you don't want is you don't want them touching each other because obviously if they're going to cut and they're touching, you'll end up with a a hole, a, a larger hole than what you actually want or need. So just be careful when you're re moving them around that they're not touching each other. Just go around doing that all around your design. And there's our bow shape finished. It might not be the best clip art to have used, but it just shows you that you can actually just take a clip art and make a rhinestone pattern from them. The only thing you need to remember is when you set your first circle up to make it the size of your um, rhinestones so that you know that they're going to fit when you come to actually cut the holes and assemble the design. I hope you like that um, quick little tutorial and find it useful.